Mitchell is still with the jazz. Why did you sing it? Sounds like I'm starting a musical. <laughs> uh, Vegas thinks he's gone. We talked about this last week. Vegas yeah. has uh, the Jazz significantly lower uh, in odds to both win their division and win the NBA Finals and win the Western Conference than the Kings, for example. I mean, shouldn't he? If it seems like they're starting a redirect, I mean, it, you can move Gobert and say <laughs> we're going all in on Mitchell and build around him, but it seems like they're moving pieces to just start a reboot. So if you're doing that, get rid of one of your best players to get a lot back in return. Well, they've already done that with Gobert. Yeah. That price for Rudy Gobert is pretty, I it mean, it changed everything. I think, yeah, I think it did too. And Danny Ainge, uh, has, has kind of set his own market. Mm -hmm. And the problem here <clears throat> is that I think Danny probably values Donovan Mitchell higher than Rudy Gobert. Even though Rudy Gobert is more of a unique player than Donovan, there's more Donovan Mitchell type players in the NBA than there are Rudy Gobert's. Yeah. But if you look at Ainge's history, and we all remember going back to the Celtics when Danny had, you know, was was the Sam Presti of the NBA and had 700 picks, including the Kings. Every year it was, well, this and this and this could happen, and this could happen, and that could happen, but don't count out Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge is engaged in this this guy, this guy, or this player, and boy, does he have the ammo. And, like, nothing, it seemed like, ever happened. Really, there weren't a lot of huge trades that he made. I mean, he, he made the trade where he got out of the, the number one and dropped down to three and was able to pick up assets from Sam Hinkie in Philadelphia. And he ends up drafting Jason Tatum, the Phillies' Markel Fultz. Mm-hmm. What a what a stud move and and you know unfortunately Markel has just never been the guy he's never been the same that he was in college and what amounts to a pretty heavy draft. Um, I have no reason to think that he's in any rush, and I absolutely have no. I think Danny has set his price. I was just like, yeah, I mean, get you, the best deal, yeah, and 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 listen. Meet the price. Right. It's too high. Okay, then don't meet. I, I, right. I hear you. If I don't think this is a Durant thing. No. I think they would like to move him, but on their terms. He's under team control for a while. Yeah. At, at some point, somebody's going to get hurt. If you're Danny Ainge, what do you care? I mean, really, what do you care? You're, you're, you, you're, you very much are clearing things out. He's going to clear things out. It's just a matter of him holding off until he's able to amass the the biggest draft capital and or young player uh, uh, treasure chest that you can. So I can't sit here and neither can you and say this this Don this Donovan Mitchell thing is going to get resolved any time now. It could right. It's just a matter of what are you bringing to the table when when you look at the roster. You have to, the 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 leavings of Mike Conley, uh, Jordan Clark Clarkson, uh, Walker Kessler, who again is a very young young player you can build around. Um, yeah, I mean you got the little you know the Jared Vanderbilt's in the world. Right, they're in rebuild mode. They are in rebuild, and that's why it would make sense. To do that with Mitchell, I, I, you know, reportedly Miami's still interested. Maybe the Knicks are interested. I think the Lakers want to get involved. Sure. And so if they need a third team, maybe sure. they're helpful. Um, and it sure seems like Ainge's plan is just to stockpile picks, just build that way and take their time and and strike at the at the right time. You know, the Lakers want to get involved. That's what you hear. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. They're not a lot to work with. I mean, they really don't. They've got their They've got their, uh, their, their, what, 27 and 29 first rounders. That's, yeah, that's all they got left. They want to move Russ, mm -hmm. who's at 47 million and expiring. They want to move him or just send him home, right? What are their options going to be? Well, that's, that's going to be the thing is you're going to have to, if you, if you can, try to find a way to be a third team in that whole situation. Try to find a way to be a, a third team. And, and right now for them, they give anything to move. I think they give anything to move Russ. They're either going to, they're either going to move him, release him, send him home. Well, he's not playing for the Lakers next year. It's just not happening. And I can't imagine. Russell Westbrook and the future of Russell Westbrook 
is incredibly fascinating to me because it's basically no one wants a piece of him because he's not particularly helpful, at least hasn't been the last couple of years, and he makes a boatload of money. But, Jason, he's he's 33. And last year he averaged 18 and a half points, seven boards, and or seven and a half boards and seven assists. Like, the Kings don't have anybody that does that. Right. Now, granted, there you can peek beneath the uh, – <laughs> The skirt on that one. Sure. And see stuff. Efficiency and a lot of right. other issues, turnovers, so on and so forth. I just, I can't imagine a situation where Russell Westbrook is out of the league. But I, I think that's kind of, I think Russell Westbrook is closer out to here. that. Yeah. Especially what, if he misses a year. What Horford did with the Thunder, yeah. what uh, John Wall did with the, the Rockets last year, which almost makes me kind of sad. I have no love nor hate for Russ. I don't think he's as good a player as others do, or a lot of others do, but I don't want to see him miss the one of the last years of his prime yeah. for to, business. To like that. Yeah. Right. And Sacktown says trade Fox, Holmes, and draft picks for Mitchell. No. Why? They're the same guy. Right. They're the same guy. They're basically the exact same guy. Minor League Baseball.